another great interview segment from the Racing Insiders show. Ryan Ellis, welcome to the Racing Insiders. You have some news, we're full of news today. What's your news about the team you're going to? I'm really proud to announce that I'm going to be join, joining CA Sport, uh, that's a Skull Candy Nissan team in uh, ST and Grand Am Continental Tire Series. Uh, I've been running with iMoto all year and um, had a great time with everybody involved in that program, but I'm really excited to be joining the uh, new Nissan team. You even won a race with iMoto at Daytona at the beginning of the year. Why leave a successful program? Well, we didn't actually win at Daytona. We actually got pulled. We got really close to winning. We had a mechanical failure. But um, with Mark Pombo coming back, he wanted to uh, drive with Matt, and that's very understanding. Matt and I had an agreement at the beginning of the year where when Mark came back, we were going to kind of feel out where we were at in the points, and we really thought that Matt and I would be probably in the top two or three in points at this point in the season when Mark was ready to come back. But um, unfortunately, with some bad luck has kind of been upon us all year, and we haven't gotten the finishes we really hoped for. So when Mark wanted to come back, I really wanted to find a finishing position at a um, – another team and uh, Nissan stepped up and they really wanted me and I really really wanted to join them so I'm really excited to be with them now. It's not bad to be with the factory program. Jim Daniels you've been with the factory program. Yeah and you know I'm glad to see Mark come back after that horrific accident at Road America Ryan. You know you and I in the full air of disclosure you and I share the same agency and P1 group with Eric Birch and uh, I was talking with Eric and he says that we don't have a co-driver in that car yet. To give us some inside information about what you would prefer to have as your teammate and what prospects you may have as your teammate in that new car. Um, as of right now, I'm not quite too, quite sure who we're going to have in the car with me. Um, but uh, like qualities you'd want in a starting driver, you definitely want someone who, who is safe. They'll get the car to you in the top five, top ten. It really doesn't matter where you get the car as long as the car is all in one piece. And um, so you just want someone who's got level-headed. They're not going to let the emotions of the sport get to them, and they're not going to be, uh, I guess, fighting for the lead with, like, two laps into the race and risk damaging a car. Yeah, Peter. Well, I know, the, I know the Nissan team's had a little bit of success winning at Daytona this year, and, um, you know, so they showed some speed, but I know it's also under development. The car looked a little rough in Turb 5 in Atlanta, so um, have you had a chance to sit in the car yet? I mean, have you gotten to drive it? it you know, I know it's under development, but the – they are fast and they are, you know, well prepared looking cars. No, not at all. Actually, that's I was just talking to um, another Continental Tire driver, Derek Jones, about it, who actually was running at Road Atlanta, and um, never have gotten behind the wheel of the Nissan, and I still haven't even seen the inside of it. But I just know that they're really well prepared cars, and Derek was uh, really raving about how well the team has worked together and uh, how well that uh, Vesco has actually built the cars himself and set them up, and he says it's a great car, great team, and I'm going to love it. So I'm really excited to actually get in the car, sit in it, meet everybody in the team, and uh, get working on it. And I also know that, you know, there seems to be a renewed interest at Nissan in pro racing, so it seems like you're in a really good position. Yeah, I think it's every driver's goal to be behind a factory program, and uh, right now it seems like that's where I'm at, and I'm really excited to... Uh, work with Nissan as a team and a manufacturer that I've never worked with before. Ryan Ellis, let me get in here before we get out of here. There's some interesting things that are happening in sports Excellent. car racing right now. Next year, there might be some jobs going away, and some of those drivers that have been in the ALMS or Grand Am Rolex, they might tumble down into Continental Challenge. Have you been thinking about that for your career? You're reaching some important places in your career right now. I've definitely been thinking about it, and that merger was huge for drivers like myself that don't aren't actively involved in the Rolex series or the LMS series right now. Um, I think it'll open up some positions for us. You said it would open up some seats. That's the contrary to what people are saying, that seats are going to go away. You're finding that's not the case? Um, I think there's a lot of drivers that run in, in the LMS series and Rolex series, so when you combine the series, they obviously can't drive both cars at the same time. So I'm hoping, I, I don't know, I guess I'm a little bit of an optimist, but uh, I'm hoping that it actually opens up seats where some people are saying it's going to go away. I think you'll find drivers like Billy Oberlin or people that have run in both series that can't afford, or they obviously can't drive both cars at once. So I think you'll see some seats open up. Ryan Ellis going to right. Nissan Skull Candy Continental Challenge, Continental Tire Sports Car Challenge. That's the official name, SP category. Ryan, congratulations. Thank you very much, guys. The Racing Insiders on MAV-TV every Thursday at 2 and 5 o'clock Eastern and again on Saturdays at 1230 midday.